So we're here today at the Moore Shore Road Living Shoreline project. It's about 20% complete right now. We've got some structures that are going in the water. They're going to be helping to break down wave energy. These sills act like a speed bump for waves. They help to break down any wave energy, uh, allowing it to pass over the structure instead of hitting a hard structure and, and bouncing off. You'll also notice that the structures have slits. Every uh, foot or two, there's an, a one or two inch slit. That also allows water to actually pass through there instead of hitting a, a hard structure. Once the structures are in place, next summer we'll come back and plant uh, marsh grasses behind here to further help dissipate the wave energy and stabilize the shoreline. The marsh grasses themselves will hold the shoreline in place through their roots. The grasses will provide habitat for fish and other wildlife, and they'll help to filter some of the runoff coming from the roadway here. It started with a property owner on this part of the uh, sound side going to the Coastal Federation and saying, we know we need to save the Moore Shore Road, it's historic. Once they lined up a couple of grants, uh, they came to the town. I said, yeah, we need to do that and we need to participate. The town of Kitty Hawk was very interested in participating in this project. It's actually been a project on their radar for almost a decade now and we're very excited that it's finally coming to fruition. We've got five different landowners that have come together to make this project a possibility and four different funding partners that have all come together. The project is involved in the town of Kitty Hawk, NOAA, and NC DOT is uh, participating for the first time on a living shoreline. So they're dipping their toe in this and by doing that, they're kind of looking to see if this is something they want to do in the future. The shoreline has been marching back at about a foot per year for the last couple decades. The landowners are concerned about, you know, how it might impact their properties and then Department of Transportation and the town are of course concerned about how it would impact the road. This particular erosion, when I was a boy, the marsh grass went beyond what you're seeing as far as these seals. All right, good ways. And this was, this sand road was a sand road all the way into Kill Devil Hills. So this road has historic significance not only in my lifetime, but before my lifetime, because it was also the sand road used to get the Wright brothers down to Kill Devil Hills. And the property owners coming forth asking for this to happen, uh, not only benefit themselves, but the whole town and the history of the town. Because right here, as you can see, we're right in the teeth and eyeballs of a westerly wind coming straight down our mall and it stops here. And that's why this gets beat up so bad. So this would save rock revetments. It would be a living shoreline. It would be educational. It will prove hopefully that this does work and people can see it work and more people will want to do that rather than solid bulkhead. And that's the purpose of the project.